Hello Nigerians. How many of you now? Don't hear the breaking news now about Simon Ekpa. <laughs> oh no. See the way I don't almost peace for body when I come across this particular video you guys are seeing on this background. If what I'm hearing currently now about Simon Ekpa in this video, if it if it is truth, make a reserve by comment because what we are here for inside this video, be waiting for you explain with my mouth. Finally, some journalists don't finally react to this particular update of Simon Ekpa. Where they is trend on social media. Make sure you This journalist they tell Simon Ekpa, and make sure also share this video. Make all the Nigerians see everything at the year. And I will rock. The um, uh, group was proscribed in Enugu State. Um, Nandi Kanu and others were meant to meet with the Enugu State government. Um, he missed out on that meeting. And a couple of hours later, the news came that the group had been proscribed. So what are your reactions, first of all, to his arrest by the Finnish government and then to, um, and of course, the uh, Enugu State government's reaction as well? Well, I will tell you, Enugu State government wouldn't go far uh, because uh, uh, someone, uh, uh, for me, is seen as an agent of the Nigerian government. Uh, what he does is skit. There are up to 38 different different organizations, and quite a lot of them, if not all of them, are just proxies for the Nigerian state. Simon Nekba, all he does are skits. Those skits provide the alibi for which the Nigerian government sustains its occupation of Eastern Nigeria. Uh, you can see Simon Nekba, yes, is the one you see on social media, but the people on the ground, the checkpoints, Nigerian governments, the places you see, as I'm talking to you right now, they have a problem demobilizing the boys they put together on that PG for the unknown government operations. They're not demobilized because uh, the present government doesn't want to be part of it. This was uh, a Buhari beachy uh, 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 of an arrangement, and uh, they were not demobilized before Beachy was sat. And this is a problem. So all these boys you call Ekpa and the rest of them that make noise, that make skits, uh, as pro Biafra groups, they are simple vuvuzelas for the Buhari administration, for the Nigerian government, and uh, uh, nobody sees them doing any good for the Igbo. They make skits, the Nigerian government acts because they don't have the capability to stay on the ground to do on the unknown government sting operation. So they provide the enabling narratives for government local actions. Uh, uh, no, no, are, are you are you saying? I mean, I need to understand what you're saying. Are you saying that the unknown gunmen, the violence in the southeast, those who have been enforcing uh, the sit-at-home order, the violence that occurred in Anambra State about a week ago, where you know a few people were murdered, are you saying all of this, you know, is all seemingly orchestrated by the Nigerian government from the Buhari well, administration till you, now? Primarily, the bulk of it, the bulk of it. I have said severally since on television in the Nigerian government. These boys like Epa and the rest of them glittered all over the place. They are skit makers. What they do is they make skits pretending to be who they are not. They are not on the ground. They can perpetrate the violence. What Abacha told you is true. If the violence sustains for more than 72 hours, the government is involved in it. Until today, no prosecutions. It's a government that keeps uh, owns the people on the checkpoints. It's a government that owns the vicinity where you see these things occur. Today, as I'm talking to you, they have problem about demobilization because Bichi left his uh, boys who was working with through Asari Dokobo. Today, they are littered. They are not demobilized. And the current administration and government, and that's one thing I thank Tinubu for. Tinubu walked away from the unknown government sting operation. But you see... Them not being demobilized and them just lying everywhere is a problem. So people like you see Ekba, they are of no good to the Igbo. Neither are they good for whoever thinks he's using them to propagate this kind of skits. It is the Nigerian government that's on the ground. No okay. one else. No one else. Do you share the same? Do you share the same thoughts? Violence with the Nigerian state.
Do you share the same thought process when Enam Dikano is brought into the conversation? Because you know everyone can see that uh, EPA, of course, continued the the journey. You know, he started the journey with his uh, Radio Biafra that was started by Enam Dikano. So, do you also think that Enam Dikano is playing a script written by the government? Where did Enam Dikano start from? After Wazirike was given a conditional release, then Enam came up. And then somewhere along the line, there were disagreements, and they came into the country to confront them. And since then, it's gone bad. Let me give you an instance. When the United States set up Bin Laden and Co., it's always when they go over the top that they start fighting the same Americans. Israel at the time was funding Hamas, thinking it will have the capacity to break the Palestinian opposition. What happened? Hamas went over the top. Today, the pro from boys that Buhari used to stage his uh, caterpillar dance, python dance, unknown government and all have gone off. And some of the boys are not being looked after. As I'm talking to you, some will just be taken out because most of them were harvested from the prison. We had 13 different prison breaks on the Buhari. And today, because that program was not demobilized, all right. it was not properly winded up. Because we're trying to get out as much information as we can, Mr. Catch, uh, Mr. Nonoju, do you, do we, can we say we categorically have um, data, evidence to substantiate a number of these claims? Or are we, you know, just... Yes, yes, yes. We have had data right from the day it started. I was in the East. I came to warn leaders about what I heard from London about Buhari administration telling the English government to hold on and don't go on with the asylum program it wanted to give to those who opposed Buhari administration. That, it will provide evidence. And that was how Buhari started on this cascade of actions to manufacture evidence to say Igbos were in terrorism. It's not true. Only this bit could have staged those sting operations you called unknown government. Those were sting operations. Today, thanks to the Tinibu administration, they are over. I don't think the combatants have been demobilized because pity was sacked and then everything just got overhanged. But I thank the Sinibo administration for stopping the unknown government sting operation or at least for funding it. And I want to urge governors like Uzodema and Co. Don't help anybody who comes to it. Don't listen to them. Let them go to Bichi and resolve. Since you never ever started this operation, you don't know anything about it, don't be involved in the demobilization. Tinibu should also let them rot. Let them go home. If not, the government should take them out. We need yeah. peace. We need peace in this country. The government and its laxity is responsible for insecurity across the country. Today, Tinibu is fighting the Fulani militia, man. And what's going on? You're still in the know. We've lost the chief of army staff. We need a chief of army staff that will be protected so that he can fight those who remove Nigerians from their ancestral lands and put foreigners on such lands. Who will protect the chief of army staff? To go stay in IDP camps. Mr. Nanoju, who will protect the chief of army staff? Who will do the protecting? That's, listen, he has to protect himself. He should understand that when he's brought in to work with a cartel, they were comfortable with Buhari. There are things he does that they may not be very happy with. He has to be careful. He has to be careful. You do not remove hegemony just like that through elections. No. All Hegemonies right. have had their cartel members in place in different institutions of state. When All you right. come in, you have to be careful so that they don't remove you. All right. Catch on, right. Anuju. We have to go now. Thank you so much for your time with us this morning and uh, for sharing your thoughts regarding this story. We'll really interesting. Bring I, up, yeah. I, I, ho I hope that we can also extend the conversation. You know, if we had more time, we definitely would love to dig deeper. No, no, no. Let's um, let the national no, conversation. We're out of time, Mr. Nonojo. Unfortunately, we're... On. We can't stop. Yeah, we unfortunately, stop. we're out of time. So we, we would, the producers would reach you know, out to you so we can reschedule another date so we can have an extended conversation about this. Um, but of course, you Thank know, very you interesting very perspective. You you I'm sure a lot of people will like your perspective on this. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you for watching that video. So, guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that 
whenever we upload any video in this great platform you will be the first to see it and don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on facebook whatsapp and instagram and also on youtube so that everyone out there will see this video so guys see you guys some other time